What's going on guys? This is an unboxing from my very first P Bandai, the HG1144 Gyan Krieger. Now first this kit, because it is a P Bandai, I wanted to take a quick look at the box because this solid purple color looks absolutely awesome. This one came out as a 2018 kit, so it's a very new kit. But this is the first one I've ever got that was a P Bandai. I've never seen it in person, this all one color look. The box is very simple, very basic. I'm guessing they don't put a lot of the extra branding and stuff on there because this is something that typically only gets released in Japan and gets over here if you order it. But the box for this is really gorgeous. I think this might be the same color they've actually used for some of the runners in the kit. First inside the box, we have the instruction booklet, which is really lackluster. I was really disappointed with that considering that you pay so much more for a P Bandai kit and you get one long black and white piece of paper, but that's okay. We didn't buy it for the manual, we buy it for the kit. First we'll start off with a small thing of polycaps. This one is polycap 002. Now for the reason I bought this kit, Runner A. I bought it for that, which is disappointing because I was hoping it'd be like one big rubber piece. The shield is really pretty. You know, it's gonna need a little bit of painting, but I don't think it's gonna, I'm really gonna give it a whole lot because I love the color so much. Uh, we have pieces of the uh, beam lance here, here, here. Uh, these are for the fuel tanks for the back, the actual backpack, the shield, looks like some of the joint pieces here. Uh, and then most of our black pieces for the kit. Runner B1, which has the original Gyan shield back on there, which is strange, but I might actually use that for one of my other Gyans. Uh, some of the leg joints, I think it's neck joints, neck joint cover, uh, back flaps, the back of the, uh, like the butt flap for it. Runner B2, I think it's just the section they've actually cut out of Runner B1. No? Maybe not. Looks like some of the arm joints for it, the back of this piece, a couple of these pieces I'm not really sure what they're for, leg joints down here. Runner C1, back to that really pretty purple. Some of the panel lines on like, see like the butt flap right here are really cool, they're really pretty. I'm thinking I might actually do a different color than the purple, um, or just change up, darken up the purple and then come back to this with a like, maybe a gray panel lining on there. Uh, the leg cover is going to leave a really nasty seam line on there, because I don't think there's any gap edge on there to make that like a seam, or like a panel line. Uh, got the, the shoulder units on here. Leg pieces, knee pieces, and the head pieces. The head of this kit's gonna look really so, so cool. Runner C2, which is just like your shoulder pieces and leg pieces again, just for the other side. Runner D1, which is, hold on. There must be a lot of leftover pieces from the old Gyan in this kit. Yeah, that's what I'm betting. So this looks like it's gonna be a lot of our, uh, like top of our leg plates, the feet. And then runner D2, which is uh, more of the feet just for over here. So just that section cut out. And then finally, runner E, which is our red pieces. And this kit only comes with three little stickers just for the mono eye and these green pieces here. I guess we'll find out after the build. Um, but I'm really excited for this one because it's my very first P Bandai and I'll get back to you guys with the review very soon. Also, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Thanks guys.